Hello everyone, it's Slowmo and Skelly back again, and we're back on the farm. Yes, that's right. Last time we did some. Um, what did we do? We delivered some luggage. Yeah, to the castle. In these beautifully parked cars. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to figure out um, what to do. So the last time that we did this, which was ages ago, and not two days ago. Not two days ago. Ah, oh, well, sugar beet field needs. Plowing and it needs lime. How do we do that? Presumably, it also needs harvesting. Needs plowing, needs lime. Right. So, we need a plow. We need a plow. Look at all them crows. You've just startled. Nah. The rainbow man all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a great big pile of crows just flew out from your legs. We've only got a small field. So do we want a small tractor? Or do you want us to spunk another <laughs> another quarter of a million pounds on equipment that's not going to pay off in the long run? Tell you what, you pick us a plough and I'll pick a tractor. Okay. So what? which of those ploughs do you want? I think we should go with... The the aggro one has got a customization option. You can <laughs> you can add universal mold boards, <laughs> which I think definitely will be worth uh, the extra. You can have slatted mold boards. Wow! One of them costs an extra two grand, and I don't know what difference it makes. It's got slatted mold boards. <laughs> You idiot. Yeah. You, know, you can see the difference. One's got universal, normal, standard, garden variety mold boards. Slatted have to be better, right? Possibly. Are you sure we don't want the Lemchem Titan 18? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's like like three times as much, four times the price. Yeah, and it's 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 too big, isn't it? For a little tiny, little tiny field. Uh, we want the aggro, and I presume you want the slatted mould boards. Slatted mould boards! Of course. I wouldn't even consider purchasing it without. <laughs> there. It has been purchased. Fantastic. You can get it from the store. You don't have to drag it all the way here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now then. Do I want to pay 98000 for the case? Or do I want to pay... An extra four grand and get the new Holland T6, which can also attach a front loader. Ah, oh, what about the Voltra T series? Can attach a front loader and is equipped with reverse drive control. Oh, that sounds very exciting. 210 horsepower, that 154 kilowatts. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's got. In my tractor, you can uh, <laughs> change the colour of it, change the colour of the rims. Oh, we can get better wheels. We can have Nokians or Trellabogs. <laughs> I select the uh, colours. You've got to press uh, Y. Nice. <laughs> it's been bought. Oh, God, what do we do now? Do we, In theory, we've got to drive to the shop and then drive the tractor back. Yeah. But leave the cars. <laughs> Transport yourself here and you can see what we've bought. <laughs> what a God. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go to the shop. <laughs> I see. Look at the state of this. <laughs> Strangely enough, when I was in the menu, this is exactly the colour scheme that I had it set at. <laughs> Pink with gold trims. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and it goes backwards. But how do we attach the plough? Which bit of this plough attaches? This bit, presumably. Like these, these little hooks at the back that should hook onto it. 
<laughs> anyway, I can't I can't line this up. What am I doing? Right, there's gotta be some kind of Oh there you go. Osh. Yes. <laughs> Which way do we go? Up this road this way. I don't know where you've gone. Over here. It's quite fast for a tractor. Mm -hmm. And left, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Follow that road and you should get there. Which side of the road do we drive on in this country? <laughs> <laughs> the It's the right side, right? The, just drive on the correct side of the road. It's spraying something out of it. Oh, we're not that far away. Yeah. I didn't realise how close. All that time we spent last time going, how do we get to the shop? And it was <laughs> running backwards and forwards from the shop. It was just down the road. Yeah. There we are. Do we not need to harvest this? Oh, you. <laughs> what? You've took out a big load of, uh, <laughs> of sugar beet from the corner here by driving over it. I see. But do we have to wait for this? You can. You can speed the time up, though, can't you? There, we're on 120. But the clouds. It's like a music video from the 90s. <laughs> it's Black Hole Sun, isn't it? Black Hole Sun, won't you come? <laughs> uh, oh, look, the field is growing. Is it? I think something was happening. It changed how it looked. Oh, some of it's changed from growing to remove tops. Oh. Remove your top, please. <laughs> I'm going to need a top remover. All right, I'll sort that out now. We need a what? A top remover. You might want to rent it rather than buy it. Lease it, sorry. Because unless you're planning on doing a lot of sugar beets. Right, I've leased it. You've got to go get it from the shop. <sighs> it being night time has made me sleepy. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's only a little thing. It's so dark that I can barely see it. You have to use your flashlight. Have you got your headlights turned on? Well, yeah, but i got to back up. Mm. I also, I don't know how to connect it. Is it the same as you did before? Nothing is prompting me to do it. Do I want to be the other side? Oh, yeah, I do, because I can see the attachment. Unless it attaches to the front. I thought it would attach... It looks like it would attach to this bit here. Oh, control... Bloody hell. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Two hours it's taken me to attach this. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where it's gone. Why is this so difficult? It's got to be this, right? This, I, I can't see how this attaches. It must be this bit. Bang. Oh. Might want to turn the time back to regular now that it's 6 a.m. Been out all night. <laughs> oh, look at all the weeds. Oh, don't tell me it needs weeding. There's loads of weeds in it. So, how do I... I guess it's... Lower this. Turn it on. And away we go, right? Is this right? It looks like it. You know what? I'm glad we've got a small field. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you've missed a, missed a few bits. I don't know how the thing's like down flat. Uh, it's just like right along the edge. I watched uh, Clarkston's farm on uh, Amazon Prime. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, it is insane how much farming is such hard work. But and but you. As a farmer, you basically live and die on the harvest. Yeah. But the harvest is dictated by the weather. And it's such a science as, 
you know if uh, if it rains a little bit then you can't plant your seeds yeah because the like if the moisture's too if, if the ground's too moist it'll fail oh mm. And so he bought this farm and there was like six weeks of rain during the season they needed it to be dry. Yeah. And then there was like an unprecedented dry season during the period where they needed rain for mm. everything to grow. And at the end of it, they concluded that, spoiler alert, if he had put his uh, money that he'd spent on the having a farm in a bank and just collected the interest, he would have made more money than he did from actually running a farm. Oh yeah. Like, at the end of the year, he'd made something like £600 profit or something. Wow. From an entire year's farming. Of course, he's got different overheads because it's his first year. And so he's, like, buying equipment and things. Yeah. A hard, hard life. I wouldn't like to do it. Mm. 6 a.m. starts and midnight finishes and all of that business. And it's... There's no, like... Do you know what? I don't... I'm not in the mood for this today. Like, it has to be done. Oh, that's like your whole year gone. Yeah. But there was a bit where he went to, <laughs> he went to like, a local shop. He goes, oh, it's a nice day today. I think I'll go get a ploughman's. He goes to this, like, local farm shop. And he gets, like, a, a piece of cheese and some crusty bread and a jar of pickle. What else do you have on a ploughman? A pork pie. And he went to pay for it and it was 85 pounds <laughs> what he had a plowman's lunch for one and it cost him 85 quid what because it was all like organically produced it was amazing that's atrocious i laughed so much i just think how much we'll be able to charge for our sugar beets <laughs> we'll have to figure out how to do something about all the weeds well is there not a weed thing have a look through the menu and it, is there like a weed killer or weeders there we go yes there is things to pull the weeds out i'll tell you what i'm glad we've got a small field because this is really boring <laughs> so are the weeders expensive not really 18 grand 35 grand 45 grand i was gonna say you should buy a weeder and then sort of follow me around because at the moment you're not really doing anything but you can't can you can't do can't buy anything don't have a tractor well do you want to do the rest of this field and i'll have a look at weeders and what have you yeah okay i've done about half the field so look at the state of the tires bloody gold rims i put on them horrible what have we done to this field i don't know what have we done to it i don't know I think we're doing it wrong. <laughs> Why? Well, if you go in, if you press start and go on to the map section and have a look at what it says on the field by the colour key, field 20 has got, is that ready to harvest and harvested? Where have we harvested it to? I don't know. What I think has happened is we've driven over it and obliterated it. Oh. <laughs> so what, what do we do then? <laughs> oh. We are such... Why is this on? How are you in the... Why are the two of you? <laughs> because I've gone in the menu. You're stood in the field and you sat in the in the tractor. <laughs> mm. I'm so confused. Oh god, yeah. What is that? So the purple it says it's harvested because we've destroyed the sugar beet that was <laughs> in the ground. But how do you remove the tops if without destroying the crops? I haven't got a clue. As the old farm saying goes. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to have a go with this i don't know if i do what if we plow someone else's field <laughs> I th am i plowing is he plowing or am i just destroying everything i don't know well this the plowing is destroying everything isn't it it's turning over the 
turning over all the dirt so that you can plant things afterwards. Oh, so we need a harvester, really. Have I just destroyed a bit of field? No, you've ploughed a bit of field. You've destroyed a bit of sugar beet. But if I do that on the other side, will that help? <laughs> I don't think it will. I think I might have to make a decision. Okay. And put you in charge of this farm, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what makes you think that I would be able to do it any better? I don't think you can, but I just want to absolve myself of the blame. You just don't like it that you're doing it worse. So that when I do it worse, you can go, ah, oh, you look what a terrible job you're doing. What I think we should do is plow this field, plant something new so that we have grown it. Just start again. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that next time. In the meantime, thank you everyone for watching. Please remember, if you've enjoyed this video, to like the video, leave a comment, maybe even follow the channel. And we shall see you for more farming at some indeterminate point in the future. Goodbye.